Photoshop and Camera Raw make it possible to open a raw picture as a smart object directly into Photoshop. Now you can see I've got some raw settings already applied to this image. And at the bottom of the ACR window, we have the Open Image button. However, if we click this, this is going to open the image as a standard background layer. If we want to open this as a smart object, we need to click the blue link, which will open the Workflow Settings dialog. At the bottom, we have an Open in Photoshop a Smart Objects option. So go ahead and click that, and then click OK. From this point, you'll notice the button at the bottom has changed to Open Object. So from here, we can click the button, and Photoshop will open the file as a Smart Object layer. Now, as you might imagine, the benefits here are very similar to what we have with Smart Filters. When we apply a filter to a Smart Object layer, it allows us to make an initial group of settings, save the file, and then come back later and change the settings without degrading the quality. We can do the same thing here. If we double click on the Smart Object layer, what this will do is open Adobe Camera Raw so that we can see our original settings. From this point, we can make any changes that we might want. Perhaps I'll make a change to the saturation. We can click OK, and that will automatically update our Smart Object layer in Photoshop. From this point, you can go ahead and continue making your edits. So the real benefit here is that if you know you need to open a file from Camera Raw and do some retouching in Photoshop, but you're not sure if you want to stick with your original Camera Raw settings, this Smart Object option allows you to go back and change your Camera Raw settings anytime you need to.